Hello, my name is Andy Powell. Welcome to this screencast. I'm a senior consultant with Universal Mind, and today I'm going to show you how you can send Growl notifications through Merapi and Air. Growl is an unobtrusive notification system that allows you to receive messages from applications without actually having to switch to that application. So applications that support this are the Adium track client. IntelliJ supports this to show you uh, notifications when compilations have succeeded or uh, version control systems have been updated. Um, there's a whole number of applications that support this. It's fully customizable as far as display and uh, action, and it provides an SDK for you to use to hook into your own applications. And so today we're going to be using the Java bindings that are provided to hook into Growl via Merapi. So when we look at our flex, our excuse me, our Java code, we're going to look at a class that is uh, a message handler. We're going to create ultimately a listener, and to do that we need to implement the iMessage handler interface that Merapi provides us. Now when we call, when we run this class, we're going to create an instance of the bridge object, the singleton that actually communicates to air, and we're going to register a message handler, which would be the equivalent of an event listener, uh, with the bridge for type reply, and we're going to pass an instance of this object since it does implement the iMessage handler interface. Now when we come time to handle that message, we're going to uh, receive the data in, build our growl transfer object, instantiate growl with our presets, register, gr register our application with growl, and then we're going to send the notification and the notification is going to be populated with variables passed in from air. So if we look at the MXML, up here we have an instance of the bridge object, the Merapi bridge, which is going to be our communication back to the Java layer. And you'll see we have just a simple uh, couple of text boxes that you'll see when we run the application. And when we call the function send growl on our button click, event, we're going to build the string array, create a new Merapi message object, type that message reply so that our message handler on the Java side is uh, sent that message, and we're going to set our string array uh, as the message data. Once we've done that, we call the send message function on the bridge and pass in that message object. And what this does is sends that object across the Merapi bridge into the message handler on the Java side and executes our growl code. So if we run this application, it's just a simple form. We have notification title. and we hit send growl, and you see the notification comes up on the screen there. So we've just created an operating system level notification um, through growl with Merapi and Java. If you have any questions, feel free to follow me on Twitter, umandy, or you can drop me an email directly, andrew.powell at universalmind.com. Or you can also check out my blog, www.infoaccelerator.net, for more information concerning Merapi.